Hello friends, welcome to my transfer chain review. Transfer chain is a cloud storage solution that protects your data with blockchain, zero knowledge encryption and file splitting. With transfer chain, you get a decentralized cross platform tool that combines storage, file transfer and encrypted messaging on one interface. Now I am inside the simple dashboard of transfer chain. And here I will provide you one small demo of the product and how exactly this tool works. But before going into the demo, I like to mention that one link is given in the video description below, and that is the AppSumo lifetime deal. One AppSumo lifetime deal is going on, and price is $39 only, and three positive reviews are there. And if you come below, you can know more about the tool. Based for the consultants, graphic designers, and small businesses, and feature GDPR complaint and alternative to Box, Dropbox, and Google Drive. And if you come below, you can know more about the features and benefits of the tool. So these are the deal terms and conditions and these are the feature details. And also they are providing 60 days money back guarantee. If you don't like the product for any reason, you can return it back and they will refund your money within 60 days of your purchase. And some licensed tires are there up to four tires. Tire 1, 2 and 3, $39, $119 and two $29. So check all the features and go as per your requirement. Now come back to the dashboard and here when we'll start they will say welcome to most secure and private cloud and here you can start with restore my cloud and create one new cloud. So here you'll create one new cloud. So click on new cloud here and on the next screen your 24 word recovery phrase will be shown. Recovery phase is the only way to access your data in case of losing your device or forget your password. So we need to keep it securely. Now continue from here and this is the recovery phrase and we need to download entire phrase somewhere and restore it. Yes, I restored it in a safe place. So I need to fill this. So here it is now working. If something is wrong, it will not work. So now we come inside the dashboard and here we can create one space here and transfer section is also there. File request is there. So I'll show you one by one. So first of all, we need to create one space here. So new and create space. So the space name is my new space or test space demo space sorry demo space and you can give one description and and next and it will create one space now so create a space so this is a space created so click on this space from here we can open it we can view the details share and we can delete it so we'll open it from here first come new and here you can create folder and also you can upload folder and also you can upload full files directly so create folder from here and new new folder and create so it will create a new folder here and if you want to create one folder inside new folder just click on new and here just double click and here you can create a new folder but i don't want to create a new folder inside the new and click on demo space and here we can upload file so create or upload file from here you can directly upload some file so this is one file you can directly upload so the file will be uploaded directly inside the space and also you can directly upload the file here so i have uploaded one folder here now so maybe so i'll upload this file and open so i can directly upload one file so here i have created one new folder i have uploaded one uh, folder here directly and also i have uploaded one file here so this is the way you can upload and you can organize your files inside the transfer chain platform so here 
now come to the transfer section how exactly you can transfer the file so click on transfer and here we can create a new transfer so new transfer and choose a file we can transfer the file so maybe i want to transfer these two files open and here we can create a recipient name or id so from where you can do that just uh, click on this icon so from here you can create our contact so it will open so here what you can do we can create our new contact and here you need to put our name id and email address and you can create our contact when you will create our new contact we can see it here and if you don't create any kind of contacts here you can directly send through the email address so click on add email address here and here i want to send it to one email address maybe So this is my email address so i will send to this email address so this is one password they are providing we need to send this password also separately to the receiver otherwise they cannot open that file so this is the password we need to send separately in one another email now message optional and also you can on the expiration date maybe seven days is the expiration date and send the file will be sent to the customer so the files are now sending so success file is now sent and now we'll check these files so this is the email address where i have sent the file so i have received the email and from here we can download the files so view files securely from here and here we need to put the password also otherwise we cannot open the file this transfer is password protected so we need to put the password here and unlock the files are now unlocked and from here you can download the file that means the receiver can download directly inside their computer files are now downloaded inside the computer so this is the way receiver can receive the file and can download the file now you can come back to the dashboard and here few more things are there like a file request so one thing so two things we have done that we can store the folders how exactly we can organize our files inside the storage section and how exactly we can transfer the files and how exactly receiver can receive the file and download the file inside their computer now file request you can also request a file to receive one file new request and here request maybe new request so this is my new request and this is optional description and create a request also you can set the expiry date maybe seven days and create a request our request is created just so this is the request and from here we can get the link so click on get link here to so copy the link and if we share this link to we'll paste it in our new browser and from there people can send the files and here from here they can select a file maybe this file they want to send to me and submit so i will receive the file inside my dashboard so they send the file successfully and they can upload more files and i will receive the file inside my dashboard so come to the dashboard section and refresh it so click on this three dot here and view the uploads so this is the file we can download it from here so download the file from here the file will be downloaded inside our computer so this is the file we have received from the Tender. so this is the file we have received so this is the way you can receive the file also so now come to this is the messaging section and here you can create new chat start privately communicating with your friends family and colleagues who have transfer chain so who have account inside the transfer chain we can directly communicate with the people and from here we can create the contacts so that's all about transfer chain that is one excellent tool we can 
organize our file inside the platform and also you can transfer the file to the people and also you can receive the files from the people by sending one file request that's all about transfer chain the link is given in the video description below for your daily reference and that is the app sumo lifetime day and if you want 10 percent extra discount you can go through my link that's all about transfer chain review and a small demo if you like this video hit the like button and also subscribe my youtube channel and also don't forget to hit the bell notification because whenever i publish a new video you will be get notified instantly so thank you for today bye bye